Australia. Australia. Seen by many as an oasis with pristine coastal lines and outback brimming with nature. Holding prestigious monuments considered feats of mankind. A place with great history and culture. A place that has achieved outstanding medical advancements. And home to people who connected the world using satellites and wireless connection. But we are regressing. In 1998, Australia agreed to sign the Climate Change Convention. However, long-term visions supporting sustainable development were never met. And our society has done nothing to condemn this. Our country has become increasingly exposed to rising sea levels, floods, heat waves, bushfires and drought. This makes it all the more important that Australia takes a more proactive role in fighting climate change. Yet still, we continue to do nothing. In 2016, Australia signed the Paris Agreement to deal with the sudden rise of greenhouse gases worldwide. With this, it was brought to public attention that Australia is one of the most carbon-intensive economies signed to the OECD. With the average Australian producing 16 tonnes of greenhouse gas per year, yet our government has made no long-term strategy for lowering emissions. And despite targets in place under the Paris Agreement, emissions are projected to increase by 2030. Our country is losing its legacy. We can't say our home is girt by sea when it's surrounded by plastic. 525 trillion pieces of plastic. And with 414 million pieces of that plastic being dumped last year, we can't say we've done anything to stop that number going up. The beaches surrounding Melbourne, Botany Bay and Sydney have become the most polluted areas in Australia. We need to make a change. Australia is home to a tenth of all species around the world, but our wildlife reserves are in a poor state and its condition is only worsening. 81 ecosystems, 511 terrestrial and aquatic animal species, 1,355 plant species, all threatened at a national level. In Queensland alone, it is predicted that land clearing kills 20 million animals a year. If we continue to regress, our future children won't ever see real Australian wildlife. The worst part is, it's all preventable. We just need to make changes. Countries such as the UK, Sweden, Norway, Germany, France and more have made movements to reduce air pollution by making a pledge to remove petrol cars by 2040. With Australia making the most greenhouse gas in the OECD, I think it's time we make the change too. Us as individuals can also make a difference. If we recycle our plastic shopping bags, attend cleanups and place rubbish in the bin, we could greatly reduce garbage being dumped in the ocean. Supporting foundations such as WWF make a huge difference too. They work to preserve and reduce our impacts on the environment. By securing water for people and nature, protecting the world's most important species and many other ways. There are even volunteer opportunities constantly promoted on the WWF website to help clear polluted beaches and relocate endangered animals due to bushfires, floods and land clearings. You can also protect thousands of threatened species with a simple donation to the WWF. Your single donation will make a world of difference. It's time we stand up. As Australians, it's our duty to protect these lands. We cannot ignore it anymore. Let's make a change.